What's up, bros, and welcome to the 107th Lego Ninjago Fake Bar. Now, today I'm going to be showing you some zombie Ninjago customs. Basically, what if Ninjago had a zombie apocalypse? So, let's get down to business. Now, for the first custom in today's video, we have a zombie Garmadon. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Oni Gomron from Ninjago Crystallize. We're gonna take this stone gargoyle torso piece from Nexonite. It's missing an arm because we're gonna be attaching this dual molded arm which is from Hades from a Disney CMF series. And we also have this black hand, and on this side we have this dark bluish arm with a grey hand. Then we're gonna take this Resurrected Garmon torso piece from Ninjago Sons of Garmon. Up and on. Then we're gonna take this stone gargoyle headpiece right here and pop that onto the torso. Then for the last two pieces, we're gonna take this black samurai helmet piece and pop that on right there. Then for the last piece, we're gonna take this black upper piece, pop that on right there. And then we have the completed Zombie Garmadon. Now for this whole Ninjago zombie apocalypse thing, basically this takes place in an alternate Ninjago universe where when Harumi brings back Garmadon, but not only in his most evil form, but also an undead form, because based off of the spell, the most evil form of Garmadon would be an undead zombie version. So basically, they brought back to life a dead Garmadon, a zombie Garmadon, if you will. So he started, you know, turning everybody into a zombie. So it started off with him, but then it became a whole zombie apocalypse and the zombie plague spread across Ninjago and maybe into other realms as well. So that's basically the main plot point or backstory for this universe. So yeah, that's basically it for this zombie Garmadon cast. Um, now for the second custom in today's video, we have a zombie ultraviolet. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from ultraviolet. We're gonna attach this scar and torso piece from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. We also have this gunmetal silver arm with a purple hand and this black arm with a purple hand. Then we're gonna take this gunmetal silver katana holder armor piece pop that on then we're gonna take this zombie girl headpiece and attach this black lower ninja mask piece pop that on right there and then we're gonna take this gunmetal silver samurai helmet piece from ninjago crystallized and pop that on then we're gonna take the purple oni mask and pop it on right there and then we're gonna attach the two black ponytail pieces of course and then we have the completed zombie ultraviolet custom now if you're wondering why ultraviolet has like a new design in this universe well that's because in this ninja universe that i've created the sons of garmadon are a group of wannabe ninja that were trained by harumi i'm gonna explain that in like a different zombie ninjago video so stay tuned but ultraviolet is a quote unquote ninja in this universe instead of a biker because the Sons of Garmadon are ninjas instead of bikers. Why did I decide to make this change? Well, I don't like how the Sons of Garmadon are bikers to be honest. Like, it literally makes no sense. What does Garmadon have to do with bikers? Think about that. It makes no sense. So, I think ninjas makes a lot more sense. So, that's why Ultraviolet has like a ninja mask underneath the Oni mask in this universe because she's supposed to be a ninja but basically all of the Sons of Garmadon were willingly infected by Armanon because they're loyal to him. So yeah, that's basically it for this zombie ultraviolet custom. Now for the third custom in today's video, we have a zombie Sons of Garmanon ninja. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from Hawkeye from the first Avengers movie I believe. We're gonna take this Garmanon torso piece with a dark blue robe print. And we also have some gunmetal silver arms and some dark blue hands attached. Then we're gonna take this gunmetal silver armor katana holder piece and pop that on right there. Then we're gonna take this 
so I'm gonna be Captain America at Peace from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 1. We're gonna attach this lower black ninja hood piece and pop that on. And then for the last piece, we're gonna take this Dragon's Rising Coal upper ninja hood piece, pop that on. Then we have the completed zombie Sons of Garmadon ninja. So, as I said earlier, in this ninja hood universe, the Sons of Garmadon are a group of ninjas instead of a biker gang. Now, this is one of the ninjas that are part of the Sons of Garmadon group, and he's of course a zombie because he was infected by his master, Garmadon. And all of the quote unquote ninja from the Sons of Garmadon group have these classic Garmadon looking robes. That's why I use the Garmadon classic torso, and if you're wondering who trained them, it was Harumi because in this universe Harumi was a former student of Garmadon so I'll explain that in a different video but for now that's basically it for this zombie sons of Garmadon ninja custom. Now for the fourth custom in today's video we have a zombie Kilo. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a classic alien from a classic alien space cop thingy. Then. We're gonna take this scar and torso piece from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, except the torso is reversed, and we also have this gunmetal silver arm with a black hand and this zombie Captain America printed arm with a black hand. Then we're gonna take this katana holder armor piece and pop that on right there. Then we're gonna take this zombie Captain America headpiece and we're gonna attach this lower orange ninja hood mask piece which is from Cole. Pop that on and then we're gonna take this gunmetal silver samurai helmet piece from Ninjago Crystallized. And then for the last piece we're gonna take the orange oni mask which actually has some silver fang pieces instead of the normal horn pieces that were originally on the mask and then we have the completed zombie kilo custom. Now, just like for Ultraviolet, I redesigned Kilo to make him have like a whole ninja looking attire and I also made him in minifigure form because it is never explained why Kilo is such a big giant monster in Ninjago. I mean, is he even human? Is Ultraviolet even human? Because both of them have like gray skin. So that's why for my series I decided to make Kilo normal minifigure sized and that's basically it for this universe's version of Kilo who's a zombie. Now for the fifth custom in today's video, we have our second random Sons of Garmadon zombie ninja. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Death Trooper from Star Wars. We're gonna attach this upper Garmadon classic torso piece with the purple belt piece. We have some gunmetal silver arms and some purple hands attached. Then. We're going to take this gunmetal silver ZX armor katana holder piece and pop that onto the back. Then we're going to take this zombie Captain America piece from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 1. We're going to attach this lower black ninja hood wrap piece and pop that on right there. And then for the last piece we're going to take the Dragon's Rising Coal upper hood piece. Pop that on. And then we have the completed Ninjago Sons of Garmadon Zombie Ninja custom. Now this second Sons of Garmadon Zombie Ninja is basically an alternate version. The first one that I showed earlier in today's video has like the black and gunmetal silver and dark blue attire, but this version has black, gunmetal silver, and purple instead. So basically just an alternate version, but that's basically it for this custom. But anyway, that's basically it for the 107th Leg Ninjago Fig Barf. So, there's some important things that I gotta talk about before I end the video. So, first of all, shout out to Brennan Bradley 6120 for helping me out with this series. So, I made some zombie Ninjago customs like a year ago. They were really bad. Basically, I wanted to redo that whole thing and actually put some time and effort and thought into it because originally for the first Zombie Ninjago videos, they were just some like one and done videos. So I didn't really put much thought into them. So this time I want to actually put some heart and thought into it. And I did a poll on my channel about like what videos I should make. And one of them was the Ninjago Zombies reboot revamp thing. And that one got the most votes. And someone left a comment on that community post with like a whole thing for like the plot of the videos and the customs. And that 
was Brennan Bradley 6120. Shout out to you, man. Without you, this whole series would be way different. So it's probably much better now because of you. So thank you so much, man. But anyway, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make custom minifigures and have a great day. Godspeed, bros.